Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Google UX Design Professional Certificate offered by Coursera. Now, before we get into the course review, I'd like to go ahead and give you guys a brief rundown of my design experience and background. So if you guys don't know, I've been designing for about three to four years now. However, most of my experience comes from Photoshop, you know, designing thumbnails and flyers and things like that. Um, I've recently dabbled into UX design um, and UI design. So pretty much looking into um, web design. I've started my own web design agency. Um, so I have a little bit of experience when it comes to web design and UI, UX design. So it was perfect timing when Coursera reached out to me and asked me if I want to take this course. Because um, I was like, why not learn some more about UX design and sort of the entire process of um, designing a web page and designing an app. Um, so I really didn't know the actual foundational uh, elements to it. I was just doing self-taught kind of stuff and was just learning design. I didn't really learn anything outside of design itself. So I think this course was a great opportunity for me to learn a little bit more, to go a little bit deeper when it comes to UX design. And I'm pretty much going to explain to you guys the entire process of this course, what you guys will learn, how much it costs, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And let's let's go ahead and get right into it. So the course itself, just like all the other Coursera courses, is going to cost thirty nine dollars per month. They also do have a seven day free trial, so you can always check the course, um, kind of look at the curriculum, look at the content, and see if it's right for you and your learning style. So utilize that seven day free trial. But after that. The course is going to cost you $39 a month. So it just depends on how long you take to complete the entire course. Coursera says that this course will take you about six months to complete. Um, that's if you do 10 hours of uh, studying per week. Um, so that's going to be a part-time thing. But if you plan on doing it full-time, if you plan on going hard on this course um, and getting a lot done, I think you can finish this course within one to three months if you're really you know, full-time and you put the hours of work into it. It took me about two and a half months to complete this entire course. Um, I do have school on the side, so it was something that I just knocked out after school, studied uh, in my free time, and I got it done. So let's talk about the content itself and what you guys can expect during this course. So this course is pretty much formatted just like the other Coursera courses where it's gonna have a person instructing you. You're gonna have a, an instructor, you're gonna have a video, you're also gonna have reading portions, um, but it's going to be like tutorial videos that you can follow along, learn the concepts, take notes, and everything like that. Um, great thing about Coursera courses is that you can do it on your own time, on your own pace. So when you have free time, hop on, knock it out, take some notes, learn, um, and just go through it whenever you have free time. Another great thing about Coursera courses and this course in general is the fact that it's really beginner friendly. You don't have to have to know design aspects or how to design or how to use uh, certain softwares. Um, if you don't know anything about design and you're brand new, this course will be perfect for you. Um, I have some design background, so when taking this course, I did know some aspects already. However, they do go in depth um, into other design aspects like the actual process when it comes to wireframing, preparing designs, the psychology behind design. Um, so it really goes in depth into things that you wouldn't really um, kind of learn on your own, if that makes sense. Um, I learned a lot of different things that I wouldn't even expect to, to learn when it comes to designing and UX design. So now let's talk about what you can expect to learn in this course. So there's going to be a bunch of things in the entire course. However, the main part is going to be you're going to learn the beginning to the end of the entire design process. And what I mean by design process is pretty much the beginning, which is going to be the brainstorming part. You know, finding solutions to a problem. And then you're going to go into the wireframing part where it's pretty much outlining the design um, of the, the actual website or the mobile app. And then from there, you're going to actually test the designs, see if it works well, what's wrong with it, how can it improve. And they're pretty much going to walk you through the entire process of the design process and and for someone new i think it's going to be extremely beneficial because i know for myself i didn't really have a step-by-step -step process of how to design things i just sort of went into just designing straight into it and i didn't really plan ahead of it and after it so i think 
learning these kind of um, methods of designing and taking these steps to prepare and to kind of analyze the um, solution that you did create is a great way for you to become a better designer um, and also someone who can collaborate uh, really well with coworkers in the future. Another thing that you'll be learning in this course is going to be the UX research aspect. And what I mean by UX research is pretty much going into the mind of the user of the website or the app and kind of understanding how they think, understanding how uh, buttons work, uh, what buttons are good in certain situations, the entire thought process behind um, designing in a way that makes it, you know, extremely usable and easy for the user. You're pretty much going to go in depth into the, I think this part of the course, the UX research is going to be probably one of the more important parts of the, the course. You know, you can always learn design on your own um, and you can, you know, teach yourself. But when it comes to UX research and understanding psychology behind uh, the design and the user, I think um, it's something that's really, really important. You're also going to learn the foundational UX concepts. So the do's and the don'ts of when it comes to UX design, um, how to design well when it comes to text, font, colors, positioning, buttons, all of that kind of stuff that you're going to talk about and walk you through that process. One of the best parts about this course, in my opinion, is that towards the end, you're going to be able to create your own portfolios. So they're going to walk you through three entire projects that you can add to your own portfolio when you're looking to find those entry level jobs, the UX design jobs. And pretty much you're going to go through the beginning to the end of the entire process of a mobile app design, of a web design, and then of a cross platform design. So you're going to have three projects that you can add to your portfolio and use as a way to display your work. I um, mean, what you've learned. Now, an important question that you guys are probably wondering, is this course going to get me a job in the UX design industry? Um, and pretty much just like the other Coursera courses, none of these courses in general are going to be able to guarantee uh, you a job at the end of the day. It's going to be up to you to put your skills to the test, to build out your portfolio and really get your basics down and display and show that you know how to design well. You know the buyer psychology, the user psychology, and you're going to be able to contribute in that way. So when it comes to uh, getting a job with this course, it's pretty much all going to be up to you and how you utilize the things that you learn from this course. But when we look at the actual UX design industry itself and the demand and the actual salary, you can expect to find a job that you know averages around $58,600 per year uh, for a UX designer position. And also in the industry itself in 2021, uh, they've seen 113,000 job openings uh, for UX designers. So it's definitely a skill and a position that is definitely in high demand. And I do see this industry continuing to grow in the future. I don't see it going anywhere. It's only going to go up from here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, though, if it was informative, go ahead and drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel where it's about career, my car, and my life. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and subscribe and join the journey. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.